Okay, these are basic instructions to log into Active Student for the first time. You will go to madison-schools.com or to your school website. And next to Active Parent, you will see Active Student. Click the icon. Next, you will need to enter the uh, username. The first time you log in, you will type 00 in front of your student number or your username that you use to get into your other accounts. For example, if your number is 12345678, then you will type 00 12345678 for the username. Your username will always have these uh, two zeros in front of it. Next, you have the password box. You will retype the same number that you typed in the username into this box. So if my uh, username was 00123456.7, then the password will be 00123456.7. This is only for the first time. After we log in for the first time, we are prompted to actually change our password. I do suggest when you change it that you use the same password that you use for Canvas and your other programs to kind of help you to remember. Um, Shirley Simmons, anybody that uh, has, a home, uh, has the homeschool of Shirley Simmons Middle School, uh, the information I was given, you do have an account, and you simply have to use your username and your password that you use to log in to your device. If you uh, had an account and you get locked out or can't remember your credentials, then you need to contact your home school to get this fixed. Next step you will see a uh, new password screen. So the very first thing you do is you will ch uh, type in your new password. Again, I suggest you use the same one that you have for Canvas. Then you will retype that password again and then push update. Next, you are going to type in two security questions with answers. So in the first one, I typed in, what is your pet's name? And in the answer blank, I put Sadie. In the second security question, you could type a question like, who is your favorite teacher? And then you could put the answer as Denson. After you've completed the security questions, push update. This will be the last thing you do. Next thing, you will get a screen that looks like this. Your number will be in this corner over here. And most of the time it says no news is good news. This is the tab that it normally opens up to. Next you have general information. These are your demographics. So it'll show your name, your gender, your date of birth, who your homeroom teacher is, and your guidance counselor. Next we have courses. In the top box you will have the courses that you are currently enrolled in this year. And then you will have a history of courses that you have taken if you are uh, from the Madison County School District. That we have the grade book. In the grade book, the only item showing right now is term grades. However, uh, usually there is a tab called daily grades. The daily grades tab will be more reliable than the term grades tab during the middle of the nine weeks. If there is ever a discrepancy between the two, the daily grades tab will be the correct, um, will have the correct average. Teachers have to post their grades or are supposed to post their grades at least once a week. If they don't, there could be a discrepancy between those two tabs. Just remember, Daily Grades tab always has the current average. We have the Attendance tab. I always like to check the Attendance tab on my uh, son to make sure that he has turned in his excuses. And then last, you have the Discipline tab.